This is Comic Burrito a Podcast. I'm Todd. I'm Cole. I'm Nick, and I'm Damn And it. he's not prepared! <laughs> From SBI Press. Yeah. Oh, are we not taking a pee break? I know it. I guess I'm also going to pee then. All right, everybody pee. You probably should have stopped the recording, maybe. Nah, it's good stuff. These other jabronis, they think they know what's going on, but they don't know anything because they are the worst. And this is Coley Ice, and I'm ready to sacrifice these two as we talk about. WrestleTopia. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, brother. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about Invasion from Planet WrestleTopia. I'm Todd. I'm Cole. I'm Nick. This is a podcast. <laughs> that's a that's an intro. Uh, so if you couldn't tell who is the most into wrestling by this intro. Invasion from Planet WrestleTopia from SBI Press. Currently uh, I got it. five issues out. And I actually just got a message from them. We hope to have a trade and print later in the year. Uh, final issue should be released next month. Oh yeah, brother! That's what I'm talking about. There was only there was one, two, three, four, five issues of WrestleTopia, and now there's going to be a sixth issue of WrestleTopia. Okay. Yeah. So no, I'm really excited about issue six of WrestleTopia coming out. Uh, it should be a really good time. I very much enjoyed the first five, and it makes me so excited that there's a sixth one coming out. It's great. Yeah, because I, I went through to five, um, and it was like, eh. It's that, rough. I, it's, yeah, 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 I mean, it's it's really good, but it was I, like, you wanna when I found it. out there was only five, it was like, damn where's, it. Where's the sixth <laughs> one? It really is such a great run. I'm so into it. So, I am too, and if you can't tell, I am not into uh, big time wrestling big time. Uh, you things. Know. You're not into is that, I don't even know wrestling. what to call it. I don't even know what it is now. Professional wrestling. Yeah. So Todd's sure. been into okay. it for the longest of all of us. I'm a fairly yeah. new professional oh. wrestling fan, and I think this book is as is. You don't need to be a fan of you wrestling. Don't. If you've seen, no. like, if you were a fan as a kid you, in the 90s or the you 80s. You need to know like, what wrestling is. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the right. art, I love the art. It's, like, it's cartoony, and, I like, it's not, like, a bad thing, because I think it definitely fits this book. Like, if you're looking for something deep and, like, this isn't that, like, as Nick is showing... Oh. That is a literal bear swiping at a dude and knocking him down. Uh, I mean, this book is hilarious, I think. I mean, like, it's funny in all the right oh, ways. Yeah. It's a very lighthearted book. And I forget what book I was reading before this, but it was a great just transition book into, like, it's nice. It's easy to read. It's fun. That's uh -huh. and it's just awesome because yeah it's, yeah it doesn't take itself seriously but it's not in the way where it's like oh it doesn't matter it doesn't take itself no. seriously in that it, it knows the medium that it is yeah. being inspired by and it's pulling from that into another medium that can either be really really sad or really really happy and it's just doing what would make sense for a pro wrestling thing and it's because it's not an inside term it's not all kayfabe it's not all where it's pretending that pro wrestling is real it is talking about the personas inside the ring and then it is existing in the story outside the ring about how there can if there's something that really really like yeah. serious happened because pro wrestling existed and then pro wrestlers had to like be the solution to this really big problem <laughs> how it would oh. be because it it's such a silly over the top thing that happens over here but then it's kind of a serious threat over here and it's yeah. fantastic 
So I mean, so the good. general. I, I think I don't think that's a spoiler. I don't think it's a spoiler. I, no. I what's funny is I didn't show that panel, and I was going to. That's when I was going to show up, and I was like, maybe that's a maybe that's too much of a spoiler that you don't, don't know what it is. I don't think it is. I don't think, I'd say we give the I general. I think going knowing right? that, that the I think the general premise because you can yeah. It, it's, it. it's big time wrestlers who are doing their like spiel of I'm the greatest in the universe and that gets broadcast out into space 10 years later 10 years later where these wrestle aliens hear it and they come to earth to battle the big time wrestlers to finally prove because, who is well, the greatest in the universe they he said that they were the best they the said galaxy yeah. champion he said, and the galaxy champion is a legitimate title yeah. in the alien universe so there can only like, be yeah. one over the top aware yeah. of itself but then like also like i but love but then how, it gets like, real uh, real a third or is, half yeah. of an issue would focus like on a backstory of a character it would actually make you kind of care about each of the wrestlers that, you know, were being portrayed. It's not just a random, you know, big guy or bear or anything. Like, they all have their own backstories okay. and things, and it's, it's great characters. So how did you feel about it, and what did you think you were going to get out of it before? Because you are not a wrestling fan. Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought that it would be incredibly silly and, you know, I, it, it would be like one of those things that eventually I'd be just trying to get through for the sake of this, um, you know, kind of thing and just thinking it's kind of ridiculous and cheesy and dumb. Um, but, yeah, like I said, like, like certain characters and stuff just kind of drew me in. And when all of a sudden I hit that last page of issue five, it was like, no. Like, yeah. like I, I wanted to. Read I need more. to know. <laughs> I, I really, I really need to read more. It, 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 it was fun, fun ride, and like I said, kind of aware of itself, and you know, it knows what it is, and it's doing, at least for what I know, it's doing what it should be doing very well. Um, and yeah, you don't have to be like a diehard fan of this. I think maybe if you hate wrestling, you wouldn't like this. Yeah, that makes sense I because it's. That's it's, easy it's, to say. It but. leans it leans yeah. too much into the wrestling side where if pro sure. wrestling is something that annoys you, sure. It's too much yeah. because it Yeah, you probably wouldn't like it. It goes off of that. But if it's not something that you care about, it's the same way like you read a comic about like ogres. I don't have feelings about ogres, but it you don't? pulls me in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but it pulls me in. And it's the same way that I can see about this too. It, I'm a little clouded because I love wrestling, but yeah. it I is a really entertaining story love. outside of that. It, yeah. And I mean, I think there are some subtle re- wrestling hints. Like I think oh, there's yeah. a point where they say like he's marking out, like where like oh, we're going to get more out of it. Yeah, because as a wrestling, wrestling fan, you, fan, but like it's great. I mean. I think if you watch, like, 90s, like, 80s wrestling, like, there's definitely some people, like, there's a guy in here, I just remember looking at him and be like, that's Macho Man Randy Savage. And he's not even really in this book. He just is, like, guy displaying stuff off of the universe. Snap into a Slim Jim. And emulates that character. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you see that and you're like, oh, I know who that is. Uh And, like, I I, I don't know. I mean, I I love this book. Like, honestly, when you told me, like, hey, let's look at this book, I was like, I don't think I like this. And it was like, I, read it, and I was like, well, I'm going to read all of these and, like, as fast as I can. Like, I yeah. think I took a lunch break and read all five of them. Just, like, we need to talk about this. And it was like, Todd, have you read this? Nope. You need to read this. Mm-hmm. Like, I've read this twice already, and I think we've had this in our possession for, like, two weeks maybe. Yeah, I, I'm loving it. So I, good. I'm ready to buy hard copy, you know, whatever yeah. it I I when think that's it's fantastic. An option, that's for sure happening. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. I think they're maybe two dollars per issue. So right on now you'd, you'd be ten yeah. bucks in on Comixology. And also check below. It'll Absolutely. be in the I would I would buy all of them. <laughs> or they yes, said a trade in the would description. Be yeah, they're gonna make a trade. Yeah, they, they'll yeah. have to. It'll be great. And it'll go right next to my history of pro wrestling. And it'll go <laughs> right alongside my 
Boom Studios WWE run. So I give this a very coveted four out of five golden burritos. Whoa. It's striking every part of me. And as soon as I get to have the sixth one, I will update it to five out of five. Because that is if it's thing. worthy of it. Yes. As long as the sixth one actually produces and it's as good as I think that it should be, I will update this to five out of five because it is not a complete run. But as far as it is right now, I adore it. Wow. wow. I adore it. It's amazing. Cool. I, I I mean, I'll just give it a five. <laughs> For what it is like five out of five i mean i don't need the next one i assume it's gonna if it ends terribly we'll come back and we'll fix it but... <laughs> it, they never come out with it so i need to dub in four it, out of five burritos it's like oh let's go with rory i like that guy mini macho those guys have it the faces i'm into that yeah so <laughs> i highly recommend i highly recommend it you need to get yourselves to the digital store. Unless you hate wrestling, if you hate wrestling, who could? It's then, the best. Then, then do, if you, I mean, I mean, you actively hate it. Not you're indifferent to. Not you've never watched. Not like you think it's. Even if you think it's dumb, <laughs> just just check out number one. If wrestling somehow burned but, down your house and yeah, robbed you of yeah. your life savings. <laughs> Maybe if your ex lover you. was a wrestler, it, you know, it, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I call it a guilty pleasure. Uh, sure. You know, it's just yeah. it's fun reading. Like I said, it, like fun. you said, it's it's not like gonna like change the way you think about the world. No. Um, it's, it's just a fun comic. read. It's it's gonna make you laugh. It's it's a fun comic. It's it it's good. It's very good. For the fun. Art cool. is great. Perfect. Story good. Yeah. Written well. Art's good. Uh, story. Story good. Book. Do it. <laughs> buy book. Do thing. Do thing. Uh, Be person good. good. And I book think we're, we're we saying like, what? Do thing. One month out from the next issue. Alleg it's not out from yet, the so I hate saying Supposedly sure. next month is final issue. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if you're hearing this in a month, it's it out. Is April 25th, while we're recording this, it very much could be coming out a month from now. Uh, if you, I, We do not know when this will be uploaded. Hopefully before then, but if not, it it's April 25th right now. It's supposedly a month away. I can't wait. I hope we're having a little mini episode talking about the update because yeah. I really want to get number six. We can six. tack it it's on great. after this. Yeah, we can just... We can make it a it just, Thursday. It'll just be edited. It'll be right here. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> uh, Thank you for watching us. Hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Destroy it. You show it who's boss. And you make that happen. Because you are the champion. You are the champion. And I am the champion. Like no, nah, you're real, not. Out of all of us, I'm the champion. No, you're for sure not. I'm definitely the champion. Because I'm Todd. I'm Cole. I'm Nick, and I'm the champion. <laughs> Comic Burrito! Comic Burrito <laughs> Podcast. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. You did this can we, to yourself. Can we awkward. use any of that? I don't think so. <laughs> we, we probably will have to do this again. You gotta put your title on the line. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do what I gotta do. And I'm gonna whoop your ass. Manifest Destiny, I am the chosen one. I am the ender of things. This is mine. I have a mask and it's made of metal. I will destroy you. This I'm a face manifest Destiny. Go I'm gonna take you down. Yeah. Just... This is not a cheerocracy. This is a cheer-tatorship. <laughs>